I'm back with the Titanic data and we're just going to add a few more things into our logistic regression equation because we know that gender wasn't the only important factor in survival on the Titanic. Um, I think most of us have seen the movie and we know that the wealthy people were a little bit better off than the poor people. Um, and maybe it was women and children first, maybe age had a relationship there as well. So if we go into regression binary logis logistic, I'm just going to flip my, um, oh no, change, I'm just flipping my sex back to the way it was the first time around because these odd ratios are always easier to interpret when they're above one. So we're going to look at the increase in odds of survival. So at the moment we know that women had the best odds of survival compared with men. We're going to put in passenger class and we're probably expecting that the first class passengers will be better off than the third class passengers. And this data set doesn't include the workers, so we don't know about the people who are working on the ship. And we can also include age. Now age is continuous, so we can leave that. Passenger class is categorical. So we need to tell it that it's categorical, so we'll pop it in there continue and now it gets that cat after it. With age we do have to be a little bit careful how we interpret it. We haven't done any graphs checking if that there is some linear relationship between um, your chances of survival and age and it's possible that it's not linear. So it's possible that the children were put on the lifeboats and old and infirm people were put on the lifeboats, lifeboats but the people in the middle weren't, in which case you'd expect some kind of curved relationship. So we will be careful in interpreting this, but because we're not doing advanced look at logistic regression, we're not going to um, take that any further. Okay, so let's take a look first at the output. This is all looking good. So we can see that the odds of survival for women have actually gone up a little bit after adjusting for age and class. Now we want to have a look at interpreting the class. So we really need to know which way around are we comparing these classes? What does the one refer to? What does the two refer to? And what's this reference level? So for that we need to scroll up to the codings. Now this has come out quite nicely. So the one in brackets here is matching up with first class and the two is matching up with second class which is very convenient and then the reference is third class. So where we have odds of surviving, it's the odds of surviving for second class compared to third class and first class compared to third class. So it's all about comparing. So if you were in second class you had nearly three times the odds of surviving than if you were in third class. If you were in first class, 9.8, that's huge. So you've got 10 times the odds of surviving than if you were in third class. If you were a female in first class, you are very lucky. You have excellent odds of survival. Now, what about age? We've actually got an odds ratio less than one. Age is continuous, so we're just going to be a little bit careful how we interpret this. It's telling us that for every extra year we get older, we're getting this slight downwards adjustment in our odds of surviving. So it would seem like the children did get onto the Titanic first, so your, and your odds of surviving are going down as you get older and older. Um, but as we know from the movie, there were some old people that just stayed in their beds, so maybe they didn't try to get on the lifeboats. And movies are always completely accurate, so we can trust what we see there. So what we might want to do um, when interpreting these results is perhaps do some more graphs. So let's just have a look at age, just to look at the age distribution overall. Um, so we could do a histogram. I'll reset that. Reset. and I'll pop in age and we can see overall there actually weren't that many kids on it. We have a lot of people 20 to 40 which we would expect and not that many old people. So I um, might just do, I'll do a population pyramid just to see the distribution of age over survival. Um, and it does look like just the, the very little babies 
the very young children that they did seem to have better survival um, than not. And perhaps, look at this, it's in that 20 to 40, there's lots of people dying. So this may be driving some of that result. So probably you'd, if you're doing this analysis for real, you might go a bit more in depth with trying to disentangle that relationship. Um, but we'll just leave that there. What we might be more interested in is looking at the relationship between passenger class, gender and survival. So we already did the gender chart. Let's do the same thing for passenger class. So we'll put passenger class there, survival in the stat colour. I'll change it straight away to percentage um, so we can compare those proportions. Okay. And this is what we would expect based on those results, that the first class passengers had the best survival, then second, then third. What we would like to be able to see is probably this also split by gender. Um, and we can do that by panelling the graphs. I couldn't remember how to do this in, um, in class. In other packages you can chuck more variables onto this and it will split it automatically, so Minitab is quite nice for that. In SPSS, however, we can go to um, groups and we want, might want to put in a columns panel and that will let us add in another variable. So I'm going to add gender into here. Now this may not be the way I want it. I might want class up there and gender down here, but let's have a, let's see what this looks like. Actually, I like do like this. Yeah, this is fine. So, first, second, third for women. First, second, third for men. So overall, first class, first class men had worse survival than third class women. First class women must have all been first onto the lifeboats. Really high survival and very poor survival for all the men and it doesn't actually look like there's any difference between the second and third class men here. So this is a really nice way of looking at the results when you've got an outcome that you're interested in and then two other categorical variables. I'll help you look at that. And you'd want to look at this in comparison or in, uh, in adjunct with this output here to help you make sense of some of these numbers.